Hello, I'm finally back making another episode from a Talton Town Save. I've been so busy doing tactic tests, making my own tactics, and I want to do some rebuilds. And my Talton Town Save has been pushed to the side for a little bit. But I am back. We are going to go through the whole of season five, starting near the beginning, because it's the end of August nearly now. And I've made some transfers for season five. But let's talk about the players that have left. Max Waltman has gone for 105k. Medine's gone out on loan. Bot has gone out on loan. Zach Johnson, the centre back, was so good for me last season. Sal put off me 475k. It was too good to turn down. Frau Williams, I've loaned him out because I've changed up the tactic and I'm only now playing one up front. Ed Lisi has gone left on the free. He's gone to Cardiff on the free, should I say. But I did bring some players in and they are some very good players. Starting off with Noel Bremner. He's Scottish. He's 19 years of age. Got four star potential. He's three star already. And I just really love his pace and acceleration. Can play up front or the left or the right. His natural position is a striker. But for me, crossing of 12, dribbling of 13, I'm going to play him on the wings. Also in his khaki, Main City let him go on a free. We picked him up into play in Skybet League 2. Got some very good all-round attributes. But I've never seen this before. This ESC, where you can get a work permit for players that don't pass for a work permit. You get two a season. But after the one year, they do become a player of yours. So you don't need a work permit from them. But yeah, you're only allowed two players on non-work permit issues. And this is my Zach Johnson replacement in Kaylin Casey. A fantastic looking centre-back. Jacob Slater now to play on the left-hand side. Ben Winterbottom to go in goal. He did come from uh, the Van Rommel National League, but he is a very good keeper. Well, I already bring in a keeper, but when I saw Oconco, uh, he looked very good. Let go on a free from Arsenal and picked him. He's got some great potential. And like I say, picked him up on a free transfer. £550 a week. It's a no-brainer. And I think this one's my favourite transfer in is a bow. American, used to play for Norwich, picked him up on a free. He looks very good. He's got some great acceleration, great pace, and some good finishing for this level. So that's why I didn't need Pharrell Williams no more. And he's played five times already and scored three goals. This one was another ESC transfer. Didn't ever work a permit, but I could get him in because you're allowed two a season. Uh, a youngster, 18 years of age, a new gen. He's got some great potential. But he did cost me a little bit of money, not too much. £15,250, but I think he's well worth it. And then I loaned in two central midfielders because I felt I was a little bit short. We got Frank Troy from Sheffield Wednesday on loan and Nick Carter from Peterborough on loan. He looks very good. Like I say, I felt I was a bit short in central midfield. I've got two really good youngsters with some really good potential. And I also let a lot of players go on free. Uh, Albros, Falassi, let. There's a lot of players here. Andres Townsend, Freestone, Ross Lang. Just didn't need them just to free up some wages. So finances, what does that leave me with? Well, we're basically overspending by about £300. But our overall balance for the club is looking really good. We've got £898,000 in the balance. So finances at the club are very good. We look at the tactic. It's looking like this. I tried to get rid of Watson. I tried my hardest to sell him because of his value. 400 k to 1.4 million. But no one didn't want him. So in the end... I changed up the tactic just to get him into the team. And this is it. One up front now. And it's had a really good result. But we're going going for winter bottom, new goalkeeper, very strong goalkeeper. This defense, Casey and Pork, the new guy, very good. Rowe, Claremont on the left. That's mostly the weakest point. Carrion, Brooke, Watson, Armstrong on the left, Thomas on the right, because he's left third cutting in, and a bow up front. And we've got a good bench as well. Like I said, I did need some central defender, central midfielders. So that's why I loaned in a couple. And I feel now Tyler Walker might be on his way out as well to hold a shot on a free. Uh, and Gamble is injured at the start. But um, I do feel, I feel that's enough. And Jacob Slater, that's why Claremont's playing. Had a very, very good start at the start of the season. So, lost to Sheffield Wednesday in the Carver Cup third, first round. Beat Doncaster 4-2. Beat Carlisle 3-2. Beat Gillingham 3-1 and beat Morecambe 2-0. And that's the end of August. Luke Thomas and a bow a penalty there. So I'm feeling pretty confident about this season. We're top of the league. 15 points. Three teams go up. Not going to throw this away. But look at the season preview. Where does it say we're going to finish? 12th. That's our best ever. It's normally around about here somewhere. Who's our best players? We take a look. So 
Porok, the central defender, the youngster, and Abo. So, yep, I would agree with that. They are two fantastic players. I think Casey, though, is better than him. He's the most really the best central defender, but what do I know? Let's get to us then and get to the end of season five and see if I can finally get out of this league. And at the second time of asking, we are champions of Skybet League 2 with 106 points. So the new tactic has worked really well. We did get knocked out in the second round of the FA Cup. Uh, we already knew about getting knocked out against Sheffield Wednesday in the Carver Cup. But we also won the Bristol Street Motors against Cardiff in the final 3-2. And Cardiff are in Skybet League 1 and they finished as champions. So we're going up to League 1. I'm feeling pretty confident we can do something in that league. There is going to be some big movement, though. There's a lot of players out of contract at the end of the season. Uh, Shabiz, Brooke, Hackford, Luke Thomas, Armstrong, even though they played the season. Uh, Louis Watkins, I bloody made a formation for this guy. And then he decided to sign a pre-contract and he's going to Shamrock Rovers. But I don't care because the, the tactic worked. Even though I made it just to get him in, it absolutely worked. A dream. If I take a look at the best performers in the league this season, we've got Gamble with a 7.09. He had a great season, five goals, six assists at centre back. Rowe, the right back, he's still going to be here. A bow, 31 goals out of 45 appearances. That's been fantastic. That's the goals, really. And also the clean sheets, Ben Winterbottom, the goalkeeper. Even though he was playing the Varanar National League, he's better than what we had, and he showed it this season with 20 clean sheets. Like I say, I'm really looking forward to next season. Finances wise, what do we have? We've got a 60,000 wage budget for Skybet League One. So we're 15,000 under and we've got a transfer key of 497,000, which I imagine I've also asked for some more transfer revenue and we're up to 75% now. I imagine I'm just going to move it all over. 70K, 1.3 million oval balance of the club. So, fun and games for season six. I'm feeling, like I say, I'm feeling confident. We've got some good players here. I just need to improve that. Then players at the EC, ESC, the two work permit guys, hopefully they should sign new contracts. And hopefully I might be able to get two other players like that because they were phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Especially the centre-back. He was very, very good. I'm on the tactic screen now and I've got rid of all the players that are going to be out of contract at the end of the season. And uh, basically... This is what I'm left for next season. We've got a grayed out player. Let's just put Gamble in there. But this is it. This is it. It's going to be uh, it's going to be a lot, a lot of transfers coming in. So please come back for season six to see if I can do back to back uh, promotion. And hopefully I spent the money wisely, bringing some really good free transfer players. Like I say, we've got some ESC players. Hopefully their work permit will be on the 23rd of the 6th. So That'd be a standard work permit. So he will come in normally. And the same with Porrock will be the length of August. His will be a standard work permit. So I might be able to get two more, two more special players in uh, that wouldn't normally get a work permit. Because the director of football, he finds some absolutely quality players if I request. I don't know if he'd be able to do it now, but some really good youngsters abroad. Like this one. We have found one. Lopez. See? He's pretty good, but I can't bring him in because I won't be able to get a work permit for him. But when them two players sell normal work permits, I'll be able to bring him on in that ESC thing, which I'm I'm loving. I think he actually might be quite good. I would scout him, but well, we'll see. We'll see if he comes in. You have to watch season six. Thank you, guys. If you can leave a like, subscribe, and all that good stuff, I do really appreciate it. I know this is a bit different now, but I've got so many things going on that I want to bring like more tactics, doing my own tactics. I want to do some rebuilds. So something's got to give, and sadly, the Taunton Town save. Still playing it, still going through it, but we'll sort of skip through it. It'll be quite quick, season by season. But thank you again. I do really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next episode. See you then.